You know how they say, a good grinding method is like a woman in the nightclub, you just want it to be easy. What, nobody saying that? Well, I do, but anyway, today I have an extremely easy farming method for you in Red Dead Online, the one that takes minimum effort and pays you off a lot. For example, in 10 minutes you will be earning $168 plus 24 gold nuggets and the most important that out of these 10 minutes you will have to do something only for about 2 minutes, rest of the time you can stay afk if you want to. And it's not a glitch bug or something. Poor game design? Probably yes, but not a glitch. Anyway, before we begin with this step by step farming guide, here is something interesting. During this week when I'm recording this video, there are extra 50% payout for legendary bounties. So this week you can make up to $25 per minute, plus gold, plus experience, which is totally totally insane, but if you're watching this video guide later, don't worry, it's still an extremely profitable method and it's still easy. As you probably guessed, we need a bounty hunter role for this method. Anyway, you go to the bounty board and choose the legendary bounties list. And yeah, many guides are saying that the best way to farm money with legendary bounties is to go for Red Band Clemson because it has the highest payout. And yeah, Red Band is one out of four legendary bounties that has the biggest base payout, plus it has some additional targets that will increase the payout even more, but it's not easy by any means, I mean good luck catching it in solo on 5 star difficulty without dying or killing some targets occasionally unless you are a really experienced player, so I'm not suggesting this one, I mean if you want to take advantage of extra payouts this week and have some interesting gameplay experience, go rather for Shepard with Virgil Edwards. It's a prestigious legendary bounty, so there is a double payout this week for him and by catching only one target you will earn approximately the same money as for catching three targets alive in a Red Band's mission. It's not easier but more interesting and less annoying if you're doing it solo in my opinion. But you came here for easiest farming method, so go ahead and pick Etta Doyle, another legendary bounty with the maximum base payout. By the way, that's how it works. Base payout is the amount of money that you will earn by capturing legendary bounty alive if you will spend more than 30 minutes on the mission. Base payout for Etta Doyle is 150 bucks, but there is also a difficulty multiplier. It starts with 1 on 1 star level difficulty and goes up to 1.5 on the 5 star legendary bounty difficulty. Of course, all the calculations in this video are made for 5 star difficulty because there is the highest payout and Etta Doyle's legendary bounty mission plays exactly the same on a 1 star difficulty and on a 5 star difficulty, there is no difference at all. Anyway, skip the cutscene as soon as you can and start the timer at the moment when your character will appear on the map. Yes, you gonna need the timer for this legendary bounty as well as for any other legendary or just a bounty mission in Red Dead Online because the payout depends on the time that you've spent in this mission. Ok, now you have to hide and you can do that in many places, like close to the gate behind the wagon, up there and in some other spots, but my favorite is this hidden tunnel, because there is no way they can find you there, so you can go afk, make yourself a tea, a sandwich or I don't know, make love to your woman, just do something that takes 4 minutes or less. By the way, don't worry that there are 4 different NPCs is marked as a target at the beginning because till the time when you gonna need to act, it's around 4 minutes 15 seconds, there will be only one mark left, Etta exactly. Anyway, when there will be 4 minutes on your timer, you want to come back and get ready, because around 4 minutes and 15 to 20 seconds, Etta will understand that something is wrong here and say, there is nothing. It's a trap! She is saying three lines here and you want to run out from your hiding spots after she will say come on quick let's move out. Sometimes she says quick let's go, but anyway you are looking for the third line, because after that they will all start running away and just ignoring you. If you will run out a little bit faster, there are slight chance that some NPCs will start shooting you. It's not a big problem, you can still use Slippery Busted, but we are looking here for the easiest way without 
without any shots, abilities or problems. Anyway, once you're gonna tie her up, you can also hit her a few times. It's not necessary by any means, but I don't know, maybe you just want to. After that, just put her on your horse back and ride straight to the police department. It's extremely close, there will be no problems at all. Usually you will get the until there will be 5 minutes on your timer. But you don't want to finish so fast. Mostly because of the weird payout structure in Red Dead Online that is heavily depends on the time that you've spent on a mission. You just don't want to enter yellow area yet. Pick up Etta Doyle and stay close to the police office door. From my calculations, the best time to deliver the bounty target is exactly 10 minutes on your timer. That's how you will earn the biggest amount of money, experience and gold per minute. And I know that everyone is suggesting to wait for 30 minutes when you're doing legendary bounties. It's like a no-brainer there, but I think that it's a mistake. If you want my arguments and calculations, let me know in the comments. I will make complete guide on this and will explain why I think that it's a wrong idea to wait until 30 minutes. But anyway, if you still want to wait for so long, just put down at the Doyle there and open catalog. Actually, I would rather call Bounty Hunter Wagon in this scenario, because after December update, I saw some reports that people are saying that bounty targets are running away in such situation, even if they are close to the sheriff's or police office. If there will be 30 minutes on your timer, you will receive $225 plus 48 gold nuggets. With this week's bonus, you will receive $337. But if you will wait for 10 minutes only, without bonus, you will receive $168 plus 24 gold nuggets and with bonus, you will receive enormous $253 which is extremely cool for amount of work that you've done, plus you don't have to stay AFK for too long. The only problem is that there is a cooldown for legendary bounty missions, so for the next 48 minutes you will not be able to complete another legendary bounty mission again. But let's not forget that there are some other grinding methods. By the way, if you will choose to complete legendary bounty mission in a posse, you will receive more money. For example, there will be extra 10 percent payout if there are two persons in your posse, 15 percent payout if there are three person, and who knows what will happen if there will be four person in your squad because no red dead online player has so many friends. But be careful, I'm not quite sure whether it's already fixed, but previously there were many bugs for people who complete in legendary bounties in a posse. Sometimes there are wrong payouts, sometimes other bugs, so you just have to know about it. Anyway, I've told you about the easiest method in Red Dead Online that is especially profitable during this week with this extra 50% payout, but in any other time it also will be extremely profitable. And easy, which in my opinion is a perfect combination. Only remember one thing, just like with any other farming method, I don't suggest you to overuse it. You might lose interest to the game this way. It might become boring and repetitive, especially since there is not much you can buy for that money anyway. But if you need money for something, now you know where to get them fast, easy and without any problem. So I hope that you enjoyed this video and found it interesting. And thank you for watching. До свидания.